Hello and welcome to the best of IP Mat series. What we have in store for you today is a question from the chapter of coordinate geometry. Let's look at the question and start the solution. But again, as always, before we start, uh, I want you to try this and then let's see the solution. Hello everyone. If you like our content and want to experience the IMS pedagogy, then join our zero fee pep program that will give you access to concept videos, sectional test and full length mock test and many more for free. To avail this, please click on the link mentioned under the description box below. Happy learning. Okay, let's start with the solution. So the first part that I've said is uh, X intercept of the line that passes through intersection of the two lines. Intersection of the two lines, which means obviously we're just going to solve the two equations simultaneously and find out the values of X and Y. So that's the coordinate or that's the point through which the line is passing. Okay, and we are given a line which is perpendicular to the asked line. So obviously we'll find out the slope from there. Great. So let's first solve the sim uh, equation simultaneously. So X plus 2Y they've given as 4. The other equation is 2X plus 3Y is given to be 6. So if I just multiply the first equation with 2, okay, I'm going to get 2X, 4Y and 8. And now I quickly subtract. Uh, so this will cancel out 4Y minus 3Y is Y and 8 minus 6 is 2. So I get the value of Y is 2. If my value of Y is 2, if I just put it in this equation, I'm going to get X as 0. So x is equal to 0, y is equal to 2 is one point through which my line is passing. Now, what is the other info that is given about that line? That that line is perpendicular to this line. Okay, perpendicular, you know that the slopes of, per the product of the slopes of the perpendicular lines is minus 1. Correct. So the slope of this line, slope of any line is minus a by b, you know that. So this is going to be minus of 3 upon minus 1. So the slope of this line is 3. And therefore, slope of our line is going to be minus 1 by 3. Okay, so slope point form, we just use that to find the equation of our line. Okay, so y minus y1 is equal to m times x minus x1. I hope you know this. Uh, so y minus y1, which is 2, is equal to minus 1 by 3 times. That's the slope that we figured out, okay, which is x minus x1, which is 0. So it is 1 by 3x. Okay, so what we have, we have 3y minus 6 is equal to minus x. So the equation line is going to become x plus 3y is equal to 6. Now, what is the x intercept of this line is what we are asked. How do we get x intercept? We get x intercept when we put y is 0. So in this equation, in this equation, if you put y is equal to 0, you're going to get x is equal to 6 and hence the answer is fourth option. So just by reading the question, you should have figured out what each data is meant for. Okay, so the first two uh, equations of the lines are meant for giving you the point through which your line is passing. The third equation is to be able to give you the slope of the line that is being asked. So you know slope, you know point, you obviously can do the slope point form and get to the y intercept. So I hope this was clear enough. Uh, I, uh, I now want you to try the replica question and as always comment the answer. Uh, and till next time, all the best and keep studying.